Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have a window AC. It's not operating. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Right now we are working on a frigid air window air conditioner. I press the on button, nothing happens. Let's open this up and see what we can do. Filter section. Open this up. Filter is decently clean. There's two screws, one here and one here. So let's loosen this up and see if we can get the wiring. Okay. So here's this controller. And we have a board in here. Let's open all this up and get to the electrical. All right, so here's the controller. Got one, two, or three screws in there, nothing. I can really see here, there's no fuse or anything. So definitely gonna wanna get in here. All right, so this is a control board in here. This is our controller. Hmm. First thing, if nothing's working here, the first thing I will look for is a fuse. There's no fuse in here. Besides that, I see a capacitor here. That's probably for the compressor. And then another capacitor here, that little square one that's for your fan, which is actually your condenser and evaporator fan. I mean, if nothing's working here, it's either the board is defective or this is defective if you have no display. So to get this going, what I'm gonna try to do is actually hotwire this. So I opened up everything here, pulled everything out. We have our control board with some relays on here, a little transformer, okay? This is a little capacitor. Actually, it says it's a generator. Typically I've seen capacitors that look like this. And then this is actually a dual capacitor, Herm. It's for your compressor, fan is obviously for your fan, and C is your common. The only thing left inside there are the grounding screws. So what I wanna try to do is bypass this board and this, so pretty much when you plug it in, it'll work, but your on and off button will pretty much be this reset. So. To, te to turn it off, you'll press test. To turn it on, you click reset. So you'll have some control, <laughs> not much. But let me try to decipher this, see where what goes where, and you know, hotwire it basically to this plug. So I try to follow our main cord. Let's start, always start with power in. Green is our ground. It's 120 volts. So black is our hotwire. Comes into the board onto this little relay. And the neutral goes to the board. So what I'm gonna do is let's let's disconnect our power in and see if I could make this happen. So here's our power cord. I'm just gonna remember where that goes and little by little just start taking off things we don't need, like this board. We don't need these thermistors anymore and just kind of clear this up so then we can figure out what is what. This was like some little thermistor looking thing sitting here. Goes into this little generator. I've never heard of that. But uh, let's see, one wire is a ground. One is black. which is next to the neutral here. Then this red one is 
stays here. So it's all has to do with the board. So we're not going to need that anymore, most likely. And just little, just kneading this up, figure out how this is wired to where it goes down, you know, to the compressor and the fan mode. That's pretty much what we want to start. There it was. A fan speed option, I believe. So we might have, yeah, right there, auto fan, high, medium, and low. So we have three speeds. We're going to have to pick a speed. Got rid of this generator. I have no idea what that is. But pretty much this is what we need right here. This and the fan speed wires and the fan wires. So there's two harnesses. One must be for the compressor. The other one is for the fan. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. Open up these screws so I could actually see the components and I want to read the diagram on the fan motor and just really trace out these wires physically. So let's get this off and see what we can do. So here's our compressor. I mean, this thing really isn't old. It's using 410A. And then here's our fan motor. On the fan motor, there's a diagram. So yellow is medium speed. Red is high. And white is low. It looks like your common is black. So if you want to use low speed, we're going to use white and black. That harness. gonna be this top one so we see those extra colors oh we could actually notice that these the gauge of the, of the fan wires are smaller than the compressor so this bottom one it's gonna be the compressor actually yeah I remember our, our line wire was going into this terminal this is a relay so when it calls for cooling it's gonna send the line voltage to red so I'm definitely gonna put my hot wire on red here Okay, and then like we said, our three fan speeds up top, we had yellow was low, I mean white was low, and then see over here it says the red is H, so that's high, and the yellow is medium, so this is our fan wires, this is our compressor wires. So we got to figure out where to set the line voltage to keep this going and keep as much wired as possible. It's disconnecting the fan speeds. Let's separate this. So now we know these wires are the speeds. Okay. cut this I'm gonna wire nut it anyways you know all right so these are our speeds and then what's left connected here we have a, a blue and a black blue is our common And then we have black, which goes straight to fan. Hopefully you guys can see some of it. I'll take a picture, but I found a little diagram here, which is definitely gonna help. I know that line voltage, like I said earlier, this black wire came into this relay. So when that closes, it just sends power from this black to this red which is one of your wires in your compressor. So I'm going to start with what I know and just take it from there. So I'm going to strip that back and start with this black wire and just take it one step at a time. When 
you see a lot of wires, it gets a little tricky. And I just need to figure out where all the neutrals and stuff like that go. So it's important to know where you started. So this is little, yeah. This is a ground. We're gonna have to pick a speed. So as far as the compressor, our hot wire is in, and the other two wires come here to common, and then this common comes back here, and the neutral is here. I'm wondering if these are all together. I think these are all neutrals. So this wire would be our neutral, I believe. So that would go to the white here. And we figured this out, listen, if this thing blows up, it blows up. <laughs> It doesn't work anyways, but let's, let's try to do this right. I'm just, you know, brainstorming here and trying to figure things out. It's a little tricky, but it's a fun puzzle. So I set my meter to resistance. It also reads continuity at the same time. So I know the neutral wire went here and I see this common wire on the same little strip. So if there's continuity between these two, which there is, our neutral must come here. So we're gonna strip this one back and cut this out. All right. And that's gonna be our neutral. So our compressor is now wired and fully ready to go. Okay. Oh, the board. the board is gone. Now we need to figure out. So if our neutral, okay. So if our, I got it. So if our neutral is already goes to our common on this capacitor, our neutral is already set because there's a blue wire that comes here to common. So that blue is our neutral for the fan as well. And then we have the black wire going to the fan terminal, but there's no speed. These are our three speeds. So we would pick a speed and most likely just put that to our hot wire and this is gonna be ready to go. Since yellow is medium speed, find a little happy point in the middle, so. It's not low, it's not high. We got medium, it's, it's gonna be this. Um, I'm just gonna cut this and cut this. And what I wanna do is start this up, see what happens. I don't think anything would start if one of the three speeds are not connected. It just doesn't make sense. It's just that this fan wire is connected, but there has to be an in and out, so. What I'm gonna do is kneading this all up, wire not this, mount this, and the compressor should start. And what we could do is even test it live. Don't try this at home. It's basically when it's connected, I would just tap it and see if that fan starts. If nothing happens the way it is, I just don't wanna start it and add extra wires if there's something already connected, but there has to be another you know, it has to go in and out of the capacitor. So it should be just one wire missing here. And this will probably work. All right, everyone, this is it. This is our neutral connected. The hot I left open, cause I'm probably gonna have to tap this and that's what's probably gonna start the fan. But right now, if I connect this, you hear that? <laughs> Compressor started. Test. Turned it off. Sounds a little weird. But we had no fan. You know what? Definitely got to connect this. 
speed wire to the hot wire and I start this again. All right, so I mounted the capacitor and then I grounded the grounds. Made my connection here and there and we're ready to start. All right, it's the moment of truth. Like I said, we have control. <laughs> Press the reset. Look at that. Fan started and the compressor is running. Now that is what I'm talking about. Let's get a thermometer in here. I could already feel it cooling a bit. Sixty-eight, sixty-seven, sixty-six. All right. We got air conditioning. I'm gonna give this a look view and uh, see what the temperature comes down to. <laughs> oh man, this is a cool project. 59 degrees. Mm -hmm. Working just fine. Controls, who needs them? We hotwire this thing. Honestly, we just use a little clean in here. It's a pretty decent unit. Got great temperatures, we're in the 40s, working just fine. If you really wanted to, throw a thermostat in here, you can line voltage thermostat. And you got yourself an air conditioner. So I actually found this in the garbage. I like challenging myself if you're a new tech or even an experienced one if you find something like this grab one try to fix it try to hotwire it start getting creative build your skills and that's pretty much it if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe i'll catch you all next time